this week's tutorial is my most requested of all time and it is newsboy hats and I've been making these for two and a half years it's actually the reason why I started my Etsy store and so since I do sell these um, I'm requesting that you use this tutorial and pattern for personal use only um, so let's get on to the tutorial the supplies you'll need are fabric for the hat lining and shell thread pens cutting tools, the downloaded pattern, a ruler, interfacing, an iron, and a sewing machine. There's going to be a link in the description box on YouTube to where you can go and download the pattern I've created for this project. With your fabric folded right sides together, cut two pieces measuring 24 by 1.5 inches for the hat band. Cut around the main hat pattern and you'll need to create six pieces from the outer and lining fabric. Cut two brim pieces, then a brim insert that is slightly smaller than the pattern. When all your pieces are cut out, you should have six lining pieces, six outer pieces, two bands, an insert and interfacing, and two brims and interfacing. Take one set of main pieces to the sewing machine and sew one curved side with a 1 4th inch seam allowance. Open the pieces and line up the third one and sew. Repeat with three more pieces. Lay the two halves right sides together in pen. Sew along the curved edge from the end to the center, back stitch, and then from the other edge to the center. You should now have a complete lining and repeat with all the outer pieces. Place the lining in the outer wrong sides together. Line up each seam line and pen. Sew a seam to attach as close to the edge as possible. Iron the interfacing onto the insert and onto one of the brim pieces. Sew designs onto the insert for added strength. Line the brim pieces up right sides together, then place the insert on top. Pen and sew along the curved edge at 1 4th inch. Flip right sides out and iron. Top stitch once or twice all the way around. With right sides together, sew the short band ends together one at one half inch and one at five eighths of an inch. Iron one long side of each band up one quarter inch. Find the center of one hat segment and line it up with the seams of the bands. You want everything right sides together. The band you sewed at five eighths inch needs to be on the inside. Make a small pleat about three inches away from the back seam on each side. Sew around the hat at 1 4th inch. Iron the bands down. Fold the brim in half and mark the center. Find the point opposite the back seams and use it as a guide to position the brim. Pin the brim between the two band layers. Sew a top stitch all the way around to attach the band and the brim. You'll be sewing through several layers of fabric, so go slow. Then just take a lint roller after the hat and you're ready to go. It's also fun to embellish these hats and instead of sewing buttons or flowers onto them, just use a clip or safety pen so that you can change them at any time. The hat I made fits an average size head, so if your head is a little bit smaller like mine is, just take a slightly larger seam allowance. And if you need your hat to be larger than this, um, just cut all your pieces out a little bit bigger than what the pattern shows. By the way, if you haven't checked out Corinne from Threadbanger's new YouTube channel, it's called Craftovision, you need to go do that now. I'm going to include a link below this video to her most recent episode which I am actually the guest in so you definitely want to go check it out and subscribe to her channel and also don't forget to leave a comment on this video and share it with your friends and also subscribe so that you will get all the upcoming videos sent directly to you on YouTube. 
And until then, I'll see everyone next week. Bye.